Rivian's global electric car, the car that they plan on selling in the United States, Canada, Europe, and other parts of the world. They're calling it the global EV. It's, well, it's been leaked. Its specs have been leaked. The specs, the prices, the power, and the range have been revealed. And well, we know that it already looks like a Rivian R1T or an R1S, but smaller, same light signature. So I'm guessing it's not gonna look all that different. But we didn't know what the price was going to be. Here are the price and the specs. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Vikings. Just want to say thanks. Thanks a lot. We just hit 200,000 subscribers. And um, you know what? I really appreciate the support, guys. It's been a crazy ride. The last 12 months have been an absolute roller coaster. Um, bit of a quick update for you guys on Shanna, how she's going with her cancer. So cancer treatment. She's doing high dose, well, normal dose chemotherapy. She was doing low dose. The cancer did spread to her liver and lungs, but uh, now that's gone in the liver and the lungs, that's disappeared. But she has had a few complications um, with her cancer. She's had a lot of pain during the chemotherapy. So today I've just been saying to her, I think she should go off it for a few weeks to try and deal with some of those complications and then maybe get back on it after that. But she's planning on doing um, some SOT therapy and some NK cell therapy. Um, she does hyperbaric chamber therapy, um, does does a few things, does red light therapy, and uh, doing some things to try and boost her immune system. So at this point in time, we're trying to prevent that cancer from spreading back to the areas that it previously spread to. Um, but she has been in a lot of pain, unfortunately, because of these complications with the chemo. So hopefully after a few weeks off that, she can feel a bit better again. Anyway. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you wonder what I'm talking about, um, Shanna, my wife, has stage four colorectal cancer, which had spread to the lymph nodes and a spot in her shoulder when they found it, which was about a year and four months ago. The Rivian R2, Rivian R2, I don't know I struggled to say that, but I did. Price, 47,500 US dollars. Range, up to 330 miles. So I don't know what the range is for the starting price vehicle, but it's gonna be less than 330 miles because the range is 330 miles for the more expensive model. The cheapest model of the R2 is 47,500. Zero to 60, three seconds for the fastest version. It has five seats, not a seven seater, it's just five seater. The length is 185.6 inches. So it's shorter than a Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is 187 inches long meaning it's 1.4 inches shorter than the Tesla Model Y. Gives you some context on size. Width with mirrors is 84.4 inches, height 66.9 inches, so 67 inches, max ground clearance 9.8 inches, so it has more ground clearance than a Tesla Model Y. Wheelbase is 15.6 inches. Wheel and tire diameter is, diameter is 32 inches, so it's obviously coming a little, little bit more off-road. I mean, that's obviously gonna have a bigger tire and probably smaller rims than other EVs. Approach angle 25 degrees and departure angle 27 degrees. Now these specs were actually shared by electric vehicle enthusiast Chris Hilbert on X or on Twitter just today within the last few hours. Um, and he said that he was able to view the Rivian R2 specs on the vehicle's website using a web inspector. So a kind of a tool that sees what was on there at some point in time. And this was actually posted for probably a few seconds. He was able to pick up what was posted. He contacted Rivian and the R2's webpage has been updated accordingly. Now, if you look at the R2's webpage right now, it tells you a little bit about the Rivian R2. It says, we'll be revealing it for the first time on the 7th of March. So within a day from now, if you're new to Rivian, you can see how we approach vehicle design by getting to know the R1T and the R1S. When can I reserve an R2? Reservations will be limited initially to the United States. However, they say you can sign up for when you'll be the first to know when we open up reservations in Europe. So it appears as though Rivian are targeting the US, Canada, and Europe. The UK, I'm gonna guess probably not. You guys might have to buy it in a left-hand drive version, but I don't think they're gonna make it in right-hand drive, pretty unlikely, because obviously Canada, the US, and Europe are all left-hand drive. 
Now, interestingly, the wheelbase seems very long for the length of the car. The wheelbase is longer. It's nearly two inches longer than the, the Model Y's wheelbase, and yet the car is nearly two inches shorter. So it must have a very long wheelbase. It must be very, very short overhangs. I quite like that. I think that's a, quite a good idea to do that. So it's going to be interesting to see. However, the wheelbase is actually a bit shorter than the Mustang Mach E's 117.5 inches. So 115.6 inch wheelbase for the R2, 117.5 inch wheelbase for the Mustang Mach E. So this vehicle really is probably going to be a very similar size to the Model Y, uh, the Mustang Mach E in that in that area, but it could be much more boxy. It looks more boxy. The light signature makes it look a lot like a smaller version of the R1S, which I'm guessing is what it basically probably will be. So yeah, you don't have long to wait if you're keen for one of these vehicles. Mass production, when's that going to happen? I'm going to guess not for at least a year from now. Europe, I'm going to guess maybe two years. It's a fair way away, this vehicle, from you know reaching that mass production point. But it's good to see more electric vehicles hit the market because there's not a lot of off-road vehicles for sale right now. This is definitely meant to be more of an off-road vehicle than, say, something like a Tesla Model Y. Thanks for watching.